Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that I've been meaning to talk about for a while, especially after buying the new WRX, and it's specifically about the transmission on the WRX CVT. It's the CVT transmission. One of the things that I wanted to address in kind of the end all of what happened with my car, if you guys aren't familiar, I basically all the transmission fluid uh, drained out and then what happened was a dealer got back to me. They were like, your transmission needs to be completely replaced. I had to fight Subaru of America because they were like, oh, it's not under warranty. Subaru of America went out and they were like, your transmission fluid just needs to be filled. And the transmission was like 100% fine. Nothing happened. Regardless, uh, not the reason I sold the car. I was just ready to get into a manual, what I'm sitting in now, because I wanted to build the car. It's very unusual that I drive this to work. I'm coming home from work right now. Again, very unusual. This is my fun weekend car. But regardless, so let me tell you about the transmission on the CVT WRX, and one of the reasons why it was kind of scaring me, and something in general that I'm just not sure on the legality and kind of the rules of manufacturing and selling and I, I you know I don't know those rules well enough and you're talking to somebody that's in manufacturing engineering it's ultimately something that everyone should know because what's important is that if you own a WRX CVT uh, basically what I'm reporting is that the transmission is only replaceable and not repairable and what do I mean by that well I need to be specific and clarify a lot of you guys are gonna say hey wait a second like this shop will repair my CVT transmission. Now I'm talking only through Subaru. Now Subaru will, some dealers will repair the transmission, but ultimately, you know, what I figured out with between this whole experience, calling all my local dealers and talking with Subaru of America about, you know, what's gonna happen and the, specifically the warranty claims rep that is, you know, responsible for these WRX CVT transmissions and he basically made it clear that they only really replace the transmissions. Now there are some exceptions if they're working on the seal or something like that, but if there's anything that they even suspect to have gone wrong, they just say, we're gonna replace the transmission. And one of the reasons I'm so passionate about this topic, and I think it was kind of a load of crap, is because, you know, obviously I had something go wrong with my, tra I had something go wrong with my transmission. It just needed a fluid fill. And instead of diagnosing that it just needed a fluid fill because, you know, obviously there's no transmission fluid, but it had really didn't, it wasn't driven. They just said, I'm gonna replace, you gotta replace the transmission. And you know, that doesn't make any sense to me. And ultimately as an owner, like, so that you guys understand what happens when you need to re replace the transmission. I mean, obviously if it's out of warranty, a transmission replacement, if you're, if you're lucky, like if you can make a bargain, you're talking seven to eight grand. If you're not lucky and you're like most of, most people out there, you're probably gonna pay 10 to 11K to replace the transmission on a WRX CVT. A ridiculous amount of money. If you're under warranty, you don't have to be as afraid, but there's totally something that you need to be aware of because there is something that you need to be afraid of. And that's the fact that sometimes the transmission replacement takes upwards of weeks. You know, it can take, it can take weeks to fix your transmission. So it's definitely something to consider. For me, the couple things that kind of like made made me realize maybe the WRX CVT isn't for me is one, I can't have a car, I couldn't have that car go down on me for a couple weeks. And I, you know, I was already, it took them for, to figure out I needed a fluid change, right? And that whole process, it, it took 15 days of me not having my car. So imagine not having a car for 15 days. And I was already at this point saying to myself, I think I want to get a manual now because I want to build the car. And like the CVT can be good up until like stage two if you take it, if you take care of it right. But I, you know, I, it just made sense for me to get a manual. So again, not a reason to not have one, but definitely something to consider. Now, the question that I have for a lot of you guys and the question that I'm trying to find out myself is can a manufacturer, specifically a car manufacturer, really design a transmission, such an expensive thing to only be replaced you know like let's say let's say i put a fifty thousand dollar piece of plastic on the interior of your car and you hit it with your coffee mug and it broke and the only option was to instead of gluing it back on the only option was to replace it through the person that makes that part wouldn't you feel wrong shouldn't there be something that says that that's illegal there are some consumer laws that make it so that that is illegal However, there's nothing fundamentally concrete on whether or not this is something they can do. So if I can come to a conclusion here and kind of, you know, I wanna, I wanna kind of bring the video into one defined ending. 
is the conclusion should be that, you know, unless you want to go to a shop or find a dealer that's willing to work on these transmissions, just know that the CVT transmission really is only replaceable. And that's, you know, that's really just coming from Subaru. And ultimately, yes, there's going to be a dealer out there, and a lot of you guys are going to comment, there's going to be a dealer out there that will work on this transmission. But from my experience interacting with all these people from Subaru of America, it's not necessarily something that they condone and kind of want their dealerships to do. Like, I, I mean, I had a conversation with the service manager uh, responsible for these cars, at least in the Northeast, and he clearly said, like, you know, we, we really won't work on these. And ultimately, it's because they have these crazy warranties on them. It's very unusual to find a CVT transmission without the warranty. Obviously, the two things that are kind of moving it out of its warranty is it's over 100,000 miles, because they've pretty much all been extended to 100,000 miles, or the fact that someone's done something to do it, or it's been totaled. So a salvage child throws out the warranty, if you do something to your car, like tune it, something like that, voids the warranty, voids the warranty. Makes, you know, will we'll get your warranty claim denied. And then ultimately, if it's over outside the warranty, period. There aren't a lot of CVT WRXs in that group where the warranty is not valid. It's something to know as you go forward and modify your WRX. Like it's not, you know, like your the the looming negative is a ten thousand dollar fix. And now you probably can order a transmission on your own and get it shipped to a shop. And I mean, I looked into that a little bit when this happened. And just so you know, you're still that you're still at like nine or ten grand, and you don't have the warranty then coming from Subaru when you put a new one in. Just something to consider. You know, obviously things can go wrong with the manual transmission, and I'm not trying to sway you one way. Um, just something to consider and something to be aware of what's happening. And I mean, I'm really curious because a lot of you guys following my channel have CVT WRXs. Has anything like this happened to you, friends, other people you know with CVT WRXs? Drop in the comment section below. I'm really curious. I, I'm sorry, guys, that I don't own a CVT WRX. I mean, I loved that car. It just made the most sense to get into this car. I mean, I love this car, too. I love my Mazda 3. That's what I drive to and from work, except for Fridays, which is where I'm at now. Just because on Fridays, it's there's like no traffic on the way to work. Well, there's some traffic on the way to work, but there's almost none. And then I'm like really happy about that. And then on my way home, it's like, the worst thing ever because there's just so much traffic i mean i'm not even on the highway yet i'm not even in rush hour congested highway traffic and i'm just stop and go sitting it's it's like stupid so i hope you enjoyed the video i know it was more of a i know it was more of a like discussion and rant and you know less of a fun like let's go out and mod this car but I think it's something that's really important and something that we need to discuss as a community and understand and be aware of and especially when everyone's spending twenty twenty five thousand dollars on their cars they need to be aware of these things well thanks for guys for watching if you haven't already subscribed you are a WRX CVT owner and you want to get into a manual or you just want to see cool stuff about a WRX I do please do consider subscribing to my channel and yeah have a nice day guys